In this video, I'm going to show you how ChatGPT came up with this uh, study guide for me. So if, let's say, I want to learn the basics of Python, so it came up with a study guide. And what I've done is I've asked it to come up with the guide. I've asked it to create a um, app script for me. And if I look here, I have a blank calendar. Uh, but if I run my script that um, ChatGPT created for me, it will put in all my lessons that I want to do. So starting on April 24th in this example, I would click here. Okay, what do I do today? I'm going to learn what Python is. And that's my introduction lesson. And where am I going to learn about this? Uh, ChatGPT has given me some resource ideas. So here, here, here. So I um, I will show you in this video how I've created this um, short uh, study guide to learn the basics of Python. This can be done for learning anything. So the first thing I did is I went to ChatGPT. So I'm very specific as to what I want. So I would like to learn the basics of Python in four weeks. I'm a beginner. I'd like to study one hour at a time on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Can you provide me with a study plan? And then I go on and I'm specific. You can see what I've asked here. Um, I would like it in a table format with the first column. Um, oops, sorry for the spelling error. First column being the date in year, month, date format. So that's important or important for our application. Starting on May 1st, 2023. The second column being the topic I will study. The third column being the description of what I will study. And the fourth column being a list of links of resources where I can learn about these topics. So here's giving me, I'm running it again, so it's not gonna give me the same thing it gave me the first time. Uh, and I can interact with it if I'm not happy with it and whatnot. So let's just assume that we're fine with what's given here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this content and I'm going to uh, go and paste it in my Google Sheets. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, you can go ahead and start a new sheet. I'm, I'm just going to create another sheet underneath, but you could create a whole new one. So the thing I don't like here, the problem is this, because if I try to transfer this format into my Google Calendar, it's not going to pick up on the links. So I need to ask ChatGPT to help me again. So I'm asking it for the resources column only. Can you provide me with the HTML code for those links? in a way that I can copy them directly into rows in Google Sheet. Okay, so I had to interact with it to a little bit. Uh, I spared you that interaction because it took a little bit of time, but I essentially, what I wanted was this and it gave it to me. So it was the link separated by a comma for each of the nine uh, cells. So now here I have it. So what I want to do is I would like to, um, I can actually delete this now. So in my Google Calendar, I want this as a description and under the description, I want these links. So I'm going to use a function in Google Sheets. So we're con called concatenate. So concatenate just means to stick two strings or more together. So I'm going to stick this string and then I want a line break. So in HTML, the line break is just br in between um, this symbol here. Oops. Um, so I'm going to zoom in maybe so you can see. So here is this symbol. Because it's a string, I have to put it in between. Uh, I always think of the word in French, guillemets, but uh, quotation marks. And then uh, I would like to, so it's going to be right, give me the description, line break or enter. And then give me this um, HTML code. So it's going to basically be the links. And it's automatic. See, I won't do that. If, if uh, I just pull this down, it's going to do the same thing for all of my other ones. So now if what I want is just these values, so I'm going to do a special paste. So control C and paste special values only. And there's probably a better way of doing this. Um, but that's how I'm doing it. So I'm going to delete these three rows now, or three columns, I mean. And now here's my description in one. Uh, so right now in one 
column, I have my full description. So if I wanted to look at it, I can see like uh, for the first day, I'm going to do an introduction to Python. And this is what I'm going to look at. Now, this looks just like weird code here. This is just HTML that the uh, uh, GPT has given me. And you'll see what it looks like in the Google Calendar. So one last thing I want to do is uh, before we work the magic, I want to insert a column to the right. And for some reason, the script that ChatGPT uh, wrote um, wants the next day. Okay, so it's basically the start date, end date. Uh, but if I don't give it a, a next day, it's not going to run properly. So I'm just going to say equal this guy plus one. And you can see that it's just going to give me. So May it starts, my lesson starts on May 1st and ends on May 2nd. The topic is introduction and so on. So now what I want to do is I want to go uh, to the description in the video below and get this code here, which um, chat GPT gave me. So I will go back to the Google Sheets and I'm going to go to App Script. And mine is already open. Uh, yours would probably not be, you'd have nothing in here. So what you, or you'd have some default function that you can just delete. And I will just um, paste that code uh, and you can name it whatever you want. Okay, so what's important here is I want to put in the sheet ID. So my sheet ID, I go back to my sheet and I can find it here. And I'm gonna put that in uh, my app script that ChatGPT wrote for me. I'm gonna put the sheet name. So I'm now in sheet two. So I'm gonna go and make sure it's the same name. Okay, I could rename it to whatever I want, but it's the default is called sheet one, sheet two, etc. So I'm in sheet two. And then I want the calendar ID. So I wanna create in, uh, so this was my original one. Uh, you might wanna start, you probably wanna create, oh, let's just create a new calendar. So um, I'm gonna create a new calendar. I'm going to call it uh, Python Studies. And then what you want to do is go get that calendar ID. Uh, so to get the calendar ID, you can find here. I called it Python Studies. I'm just going to close my last one. You can see I have a lot of calendars. Okay, so Python Studies, I'm going to click here. Go to Settings and Sharing and get the calendar ID down here. So that's the calendar ID that I'm going to paste into here. And that's it. So we're ready to run. And I'm going to click run. It's going to ask me to uh, have permission to um, connect to Google calendars. I've already given it permission. So I'm not seeing the prompts now. But if you see prompts, just yes, 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 we're giving permission. And there you have it execution complete. So I'm going to go look in my Google calendar. And there it is. So what am I going to learn? I'm going to start studying on May 1st and that's going to be the introduction and I can go and learn about that here and on May 3rd I'm going to learn about variable data types and basic operators. So let's see where I can learn about that. Here I can creating variables and it gives me lessons. So these are resources that were suggested by ChatGPT and now I can have my calendar. I dedicate my time to learning and there you have it.